desperately need a ceasefire and negotiations to end the brutal Russian war in Ukraine today. Our whole planet is at risk as the war leads to an increase in fossil fuels being mined and shipped around the globe. And whenever countries spend more on war, there's always less money available for things that actually keep us safer. Our actions in the present have imposed economic and security policies around the world that have resulted in desperate poverty, environmental catastrophe, refugee crises, authoritarian rulers, and more. We need a ceasefire to interrupt this warring madness. We need a ceasefire in every war being fought around the world. The fragile ceasefire in Yemen is barely holding. We need ceasefires in Sudan, in South Sudan, in Somalia, in Mali, in Myanmar, in Iraq and beyond. In many of these wars, we can see the impact in complicated ways where U.S. arms are being used by both sides. We need ceasefires everywhere. The U.S. alone has spent $21 trillion on war. Money we have not invested in affordable housing, green infrastructure, health care, education, labor rights, and living wages. The cost of war is too high. We need ceasefires everywhere. Nearly a million people have died in the post 9-11 wars. 38 million people have been displaced by war, forced to flee their homes and communities to try to make a life somewhere else. Militarism is central to all of the interconnected injustices that we fight against. Military spending diverts funds away from desperately needed social programs, from health care to child care, from jobs to sustainable energy, from elder care to education, and more. We need a ceasefire. We are passing a budget that includes more money for the war economy than ever in history. A spending package that does not include living wages for the more than 55 million poor and low wage workers in this country. It does not include health care for the more than 87 million people without health care or underinsured. We need a ceasefire. This year's military budget will top $858 billion. Just a small percentage of that money could provide living wages for every American, could provide health care for every American, could provide child care. And in a country so rich that we waste hundreds of billions of dollars, we still have tens of millions of children living in poverty, going to sleep hungry. This does not have to be. We need a ceasefire everywhere. We need a ceasefire for the people of Ukraine. We need a ceasefire for the poor and hurting people around the world wherever there is war and violence. Whether that war and violence is because of greed or lust for power or racism or anti-Semitism or Islamophobia or homophobia, we need a ceasefire. We need a ceasefire right now. We are facing the most serious threat of nuclear annihilation in 60 years, and that's incredibly dangerous for flawed human beings to have that kind of power. War 
can no longer be imagined as a negative good, a necessary evil to prevent some greater harm. The destructiveness of modern weapons totally rules out the possibility of war achieving a negative good. If humanity has a right to survive, then we must find an alternative to war and destruction. We need a ceasefire in order to make an honest assessment of where we are. If we can put our weapons down for just one night, then maybe we could put them down for one tomorrow. If we could put them down for one tomorrow, maybe we could put them down for one week. And if we could put them down for one week, maybe we could put them down for one month. And if we could put them down for one month, maybe we could put them down for one year and study no and study war no more. Mm -hmm.